everybody. My name is Javi, and this is a Javi's Late Show. And tonight, I have a very special guest with me here at Northwest Community Television. And please get a round of applause to CC Cooper. CC Cooper, how you doing? Ribbit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Remember the joke that we the people. <laughs> so I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Good. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you on this show. I'm glad to be on the show. You got this fat setup and everything. I know, right? It's so sassy. P H A T. Yeah, fat. It's fat. I like yeah. it. I thought of this out of nowhere. I went to in the set storage and I was like, what will look cool? And then I started spelling P. That's the gate. H and that's the table and it just spelled off fat for some reason. I was like, I like it. Yeah, it's cool. It's sassy. I came in and I'm like, look at this jazzy setup. <laughs> I want to be on the show. Right? No, who wouldn't want to be on the show? I, I don't know. And for some reason, I got you because Myron Green has been hogging you for like a long time because that's a production you've been working on for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. you guys just shot something about uh, guns against violence, or um, violence against guns and stuff? Well, gun control. Oh, okay. Gun, gun, okay. gun control. Yeah, so we have a lot of fun doing that show. Um, and I, um, I actually was his crew. When I started... Um, with working on that show, I was actually his crew. I was his camera operator, and so one day we was we was doing a show, and after they were done, after we was done taping, there was some man, random guy, some rando guy here at the studio who wanted to be interviewed. He wanted to do his show, and he wanted to be interviewed. And I guess he asked Myron if Myron w would direct it, and Myron asked me if I would interview him. So I was like, sure. So we sat down. And it was supposed to be like 30 minutes, and we just we just rolled. We just rolled with it. And Myron's like, that girl's got talent. <laughs> so he's like, you're not being the camera person anymore. So that's how I got to be on his show. Um, one of many shows that I just kind of ended up on. Yeah, so. you, you're like kind of like the person that pretty much does everything, really. I do. And you have a lot of interesting stories, not going to lie. No, I, well, you so, so, okay, so, so we, one of the purposes of your show is to promote NWCT, right? Correct. As, yeah. a, as a volunteer. So I can honestly tell you, I have been volunteering here, people, for over 22 years. Love, love, love it. And actually, when I started volunteering here, um, I had just moved to this area from Egan. And I was going to volunteer at the Egan Public Access Studio. But out there, it's like, you know, you had to take all, take the training classes like you do here. But they cost like $99. And then when I moved to this side of town and I got in touch with the studio, and I'm like, how much does it cost to take the classes? They're like, free. I'm like, free? Sign me up, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing. It's like when I, when I first started being a volunteer, because I, I live in St. Paul. I went to SPNN. I was like, oh, I want to take this class. I want to take this class. But I was like, oh, that's going to cost this, this. I was like, whoa. I think no this way. is the only studio that you can take the classes for free. Yeah. And um, and so I think that that's awesome. So, and when I actually started, this, okay, so this um, studio right here was, chan I, don't, I don't think this studio existed or it was smaller. And the studio was actually over there where Channel 12 is. Oh, I um, see. They, so they had that space over there, and they had a satellite office in New Hope. Um, and it was, just a, it was just a smaller studio. So I, I produced a lot of my shows out of there. But then they closed that smaller studio, so then I was doing all my shows out of here. And back then, I was really, really active. I mean, I was, like, producing a show a week. I was, like, pounding them out, oh, pounding really? them out. Yeah. So they were always comedy shows. And so you mentioned that you went to the back, to, you know, to the where you guys keep all the that props and stuff, up. the storage yep. area. So that's another awesome thing about here is that you guys have some mad props back there. Don't we? Yeah. So when I first started doing my show, it was a, it was a live, it wasn't live, but it was a stand-up comedy show. And I'd invite, like, studio members members in um so i'd have like an audience and i'd invite other comics to be on the show and one of the props you guys had looked like um the new york city skylight so i had that set up in the back had the light it was it was awesome really yeah we're gonna have to find this i think this i'm case. sure i still have, i have a bunch of vhs really vhs tapes with a lot wow. of my shows on because i did a lot of shows yeah yeah, yeah. It, it, and i don't know where like you just stopped showing up I was like, where'd you go 
I well when I when you when when you started here, I that's wasn't true. I yeah. wasn't around. Yeah. Um, and that's because I was MIA. I was in business school at the time. That's right. The the the, the only thing I've known about you is oh, do you know about CC Cooper? I was like, no, why? Like, oh, <laughs> you'll know when, when, when she comes in. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I had no idea whatever that meant. But then it, you came in and then left, and then the next day I started working. I was like, yeah, it's like this lady. She was dreads. She's funny. And I was like, oh, that's C.T. Cooper. I was like, oh, that's her. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, You yeah. have a personality that, that people just right away is like, oh, yeah, she's. She's funny. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. But um, I just love, I just love being me. And so, and so, the funny thing about it is, is um, there was a show called a little TV show that used to be out of here with um, God Kevin, 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 Kevin. I uh, can't even think of his last name. Oh, the long hair guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. So he had a, so, so he had a talk show. And so this is how I ended up on, end up on a lot of shows. I just show up and I just like. He was sitting down talking, and I just like pop in, right? Yeah. And then he was like, "Well, you should come back and be a guest on my show. You should come back and host on my show." And I'm like, "Okay, anytime." <laughs> so I did that little TV show for a while. Kevin Pfeiffer. Kevin Pfeiffer. Yes. You see, this, yes. this brain still works. Yeah, because we used to call him Kevin P. Pfeiffer because oh, okay. it was spelled with the P, yeah. but, the, but the P was silent. <laughs> but um, yeah, so so um, then there was the Shaky Shaman show. And, and, and that's the thing. It's like uh, before I got you into the show, I was talking to Tamisha, and she's like, "Give me like little tidbits." I was like, "Oh, I got CC Cooper on the show." I said, like, "Oh, talk about when she used to do live TV." Yeah, she used to do everything live here. We every Monday night for I don't know. I think we did it. I want to say we did it for three or four years. Wow. Um, it was it was actually Richard Claddy's show. Oh, okay. He was he was the Shaky Shaman. Have, did you ever see that show? Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, okay. So you know what what it's about? Yep. Crazy, silly, nothingness. Yeah. Right. What it's about? It's yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> but so then um, Bruce Arneson started joining him, and they would play music. And I would be, I would sometimes like be his camera operator, or I would be his um, his d director or something. <coughs> and one day I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my tambourine in and I'm gonna be on your show. So again, I just kind of like just insinu. So I showed up with this little tiny toy t <laughs> plastic t tambourine one day, yeah. and I just jumped on the camp, jumped in front of the camera and started playing with the band. Then I went out and bought a real tambourine. <laughs> Um, and then I um, I got a keyboard, and so so then I was just part of the band, wow. and so um, we did live TV for I don't know I want to say it was a good four or five years. Really? Yeah, wow, every Monday that's night. A long time. It was a long time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, and sometimes the guys would like dress all kooky and stuff, yeah. and I would be coming just from work, so I'd be dressed in my business suits and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so you stood out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you stood out. Well, not to mention that they were all white guys, and I was the only black girl. <laughs> yeah. out there. The shortest one too. Yeah, right? <laughs> right. So, but this, but the funny thing about that show, and I can't remember who brought it to our attention. But there was these three kids in, I want to say, um, Blaine, or some three kids in some faraway suburb that obviously liked the show because they did a parody on the show. Of the show really? No <laughs> on way. YouTube, yes. And so it was two guys and a girl. So one was, one was um, Shaky, one was Bruce, <laughs> and one was Cece. So the girl calls herself Cece. They were literally doing exactly like, you know how Richard Clyde would be like, it's in my brain, it's in my brain. Yeah. I mean, they were acting just like, no they were way. acting just like us, yeah. Whoa. So isn't that funny? That's awesome. That's I a know? big, that's like the, a big compliment. It, that's what they say. Right? Imitation yeah. is the best flattery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, so, but not only that, but so then um, a lot of times when, like, when, when I'd be out and about, um, People would like Randall Strangers would be like, "Hey, you're on TV. You're on North. You know, a lot of people actually like recognize me and really? stuff. And um, so yeah, so you kind of become like a local celebrity That's and true. stuff. Yeah. So um, anybody who wants to do this, I mean, it is totally fun. And you guys, the staff here, is fantastic to work with. I mean, they help you with everything. So even if you even if you've true. been trained. 
above and beyond over here. <laughs> no, they, they do. They do because, I mean, even if you've been trained on the equipment, once you get in here and you start working it, you know, I mean, things don't come to you just like that. You still need help. Yeah. And the studio ma ma managers are right there to help so you. So what would you tell people right now watching? Let's go to camera three. What would you tell them, you know, what's, what's a, like a, a encouraging, you know, what would you tell them? Be like, hey, join, you know, here, not because it's fun or whatever, but what would you tell them, like, if they have an idea, what should, what yeah, should they Yeah, I do? would, so, so I would tell them, um, if you have an idea that you want to put on some type of a medium, like, um, YouTube or something, or just to get seen by the, that you want to share with people, if it's a passion of yours, you've got access to high quality cameras you've got access to wonderful studio managers that'll help you they'll help you edit it and if it's a real passion of yours that you want to share with the world you can come down here and do it make the tapes and and then you, you can like take dvds and send them to other studios to other towns other states you know whatever and find somebody who will get it on the air there and then you can share your passion i mean it is free and this is this is high quality equipment that you're working with. That's true. This isn't like a little handheld camera. There's some serious stuff. This is what like ESPN, this is what like real professionals have. This is it, yeah. And we're going HD. Oh, really? November 3rd, correct, yeah. We're going HD, HD next month. HD people, HD. We have a 55 inch monitor that has like Wi-Fi and stuff. We have these three. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, we have these three gigantic State cameras. State of the art State cameras. State of the art is like, what else would people now I mean, why would you not do it, especially if you're just sitting around thinking about it? You know, you know how they say it's time to. Oh, I'm not going to curse. I'm, like, I'm not going to curse, but it's time <laughs> to beep or get off the pot. You know, and I would, I would encourage anybody who has any type of a passion that you want to share with other people. You've got access to all of this equipment. Like, I mean, I just can't express it enough. I mean, I've been around for 22 years. I don't stick around that anywhere for 22 years. You know, so, well, that's a lie, but still. <laughs> and, and, you know, just to let people know, so you have an opportunity to come and work with C.C. Cooper, volunteer, work with no. them. I was like, what? I mean, <laughs> how do people not want to come in here and do that? And you get to work with Javi. This guy over he, here. Javi. We want to scare them off, though. We don't want to no, scare them off. No, Javi's great. He goes above <laughs> and beyond. I, this is C.C. Cooper. Or this was C.C. Cooper. She's not in the shot. That's and, okay. All right. The, so, my name is Javi. This is another uh, Javi's Light Show. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, for Javi, for having show. me. Thank you. It was funny. It was fun. I think we did something fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. All right, so we got seven seconds, so I'm going to say bye. Let's wave. do the Beverly Hillbilly thing. Let's do it. And then Granny did this at one point. <laughs> I never had maternal instincts. And um, my mom used to always try to make me have these maternal instincts. So she would always just give me these babies and just be like, just hold this baby. Your instincts will kick in. Your instincts will kick in. So I'd hold the baby and I'd be like, uh, Mom, I'm not feeling it. And after two seconds, the only instinct that would kick in was my instinct to go to the bar. So I would be like, Mom, I'm not feeling it. Happy hours in five minutes, gotta go. And I would just like throw this baby back at her. So she finally decided to just kind of like give up on me. But she's like, one more time, just try it one more time. Hold this baby, hold it. And I'm like, Mom, I'm not feeling it. So I went to throw the baby back and she's like, hold it. This one is yours. <laughs>